Right, next activity for your red words, your tricky words, is word building. So after your child has had a go at recognising each of the words, it's a really good opportunity for you to start building some of the words so they're remembering which order the letters go in. It will help them read them more confidently and it will help them spell some of these words too. So I've got four activities very quick to show you now. Again, just with post-it notes or pieces of paper and a red pen if you've got one. If you haven't got a red pen, don't worry, but red is best. So once you've had a go at recognising, pick one word at a time to focus on. So I've gone with the word said. For the first activity, you're going to cut up each letter and the child has got to match it to the word. So all I've done is written out the letters of each of this word said on just a cut up post-it note. So I just wrote the word out again and snipped the letters up. You're going to read through these letters so the child knows the sound, they might begin to say the name too, which is absolutely fine once we're building them up to spell the word. When you're reading words, you want to focus on sounds, but when you're spelling words, you can, you can bring in the name of the letter as well. And make sure they recognise the word, obviously. So you'd say, what's this word? Can you remember this word? And hopefully they'd say said. Then you'd say, let's go through some of the sounds that you've got. They might go I, S, D, A. Or they might begin to say the names. I, S, D, A. So it doesn't matter which one. Okay. Then you're going to say, can you match these letters and put them in the right order on top of the word said? So S is first. Can you find the S? Yes. So let's stick it on. Now we need to find that A. Let's stick it on. Now we need to find the I. Let's stick it on. And last of all, we've got the D. Nice and simple. They've ordered each of the letters to build up the word said. Next activity. Build the word without the example. So you'll say to them, right, I want you to turn around and hide while I sort out what you're going to do next. And again, jumble up the letters from the same word. You don't want to move on too quickly and you're going to take that away so they haven't got that to refer to. And again, jumble them up and ask them if they can build the word up again but without the example and tell them it's a little bit more tricky. It's a challenge, see if they can do it. So you're going to say to them, what's the word said? Let's see if we can build it. Well, we know it starts with a s, then it gets a little bit more tricky said d. I can hear the d at the end. Said. Well done. Now the next one is jumble up and order them. So they've, build up, they've built up said like this. You tell them to close their eyes and you just want to jumble them up now they're in a row and get them to have a look. Now you're going to give them only a few seconds to do it this time and say right 10 seconds can you unjumble the letters? Say five, four, three, two, one, go. S, A, E, D, said. And you give them a bit of a countdown. Next activity, take a letter away, which one is missing? So leave it built up as the word as it is, said. Get your child to close their eyes. Whilst they've closed their eyes, take one away and ask them which letter is missing. Don't get them to tell you what word is there because they can make the word sad here. You want to know which letter is missing and then you can reveal. Do that a couple of times with different letters so that they're beginning to recognise which letters build up that word. Then obviously you do the same with all your other five words that you've chosen to practise maybe for the next three days or the next week or so. So there are another four activities to help with the word building process. I hope that has helped. Thank you. Bye.